Good morning, everyone. I thought I'd do a quick video of my kitchen flower garden and my organic vegetable garden. About a month ago, I did a video explaining that the tree canopy, which is mostly black walnut, has gotten so large over the last you know, 10 years or so, it's uh, making it very, very difficult for my garden to grow quickly. Um, the flowers do good, but everything else, I mean, let's see, it is 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning, and half the garden, no, a quarter of the garden only has sunlight. But, regardless, we're getting cucumbers and lots and lots of them. I should be expecting a billion very soon. <laughs> The tomatoes aren't doing too bad. I have to uh, cut back some of these squash leaves so that they can get a little bit more air to breathe. Basil is wonderful. Oh, the tomatoes are um, purple Cherokee, by the way. Peppers never really did well. Uh, there's, I don't use pesticides of any kind, nor herbicides, so the tomatoes sometimes succumb to nighttime insects. These are all beets. We've been eating lots and lots of beet greens. Haven't gotten a bulb, but they've been in the ground for a long time. I think it's time to eat the greens, pull, the, pull out what's left, and then plant something else, like maybe string beans, that's my favorite. This mess right here are some um, radishes that I'm letting go to seed because of the mess that's going on. I thought it would be a good idea to go back to saving seeds. Here is the, uh, the squash side with some lettuce being choked out. It's still pretty good. Look at that beautiful flower right there. Now, I am terrible about remembering what I planted once I put it in the garden. So, call me a bad gardener if you want, but Hey, I get food out of it. Later on, when it produces something recognizable, then I know. The corn is doing pretty well, considering it's not getting a whole lot of sun by 9 o'clock in the morning. But I'm pretty happy with it. This is rutabaga. Danvers half-long carrot. And the squash is getting crazy in here. So I have to take that out. Um, <coughs> squash are funny. They don't produce much unless they are running along the ground putting out tiny rootlets. Um, but what they seem to tend to do is to grab on to anything they can find and climb upwards. But they don't get a whole lot of nutrition by doing that. I was hoping to see my garter snake in the garden this morning, but he's not here today. Straw. One of the best things for the garden. Here's my potato patch. I did the, uh, the quick plant style with just straw, lots and lots of straw, and just put the potato pieces down in there. I didn't even have to dig, and everybody's very happy. And we've got some gill over the ground here, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much because the potato plants are pretty strong. That's an heirloom mustard right there. It's starting to bolt, so we have to start eating that real soon. Beautiful plant. And I actually was able to get some string beans to grow up without any help. And this is the help I'm talking about. Their uh, paper towel, towel holder rolls or toilet paper cardboard rolls. And uh, like I said before, the nighttime creatures can really do a hurting on my garden. <clears throat> and the cutworms would come out at night and cut these these beauties down like a tree but right now we're just getting um, something eating the leaves which is fine so uh, also when I put these in the chipmunks recognize it as something that they can store and they know that it's a bean or some kind of seed that they can take into their nest so I didn't do that this time and everything did fine here's some purple string beans right here and I've already had three pickings of string beans. Here is a monstrous zucchini. Can't wait to get a nice big zucchini out of this guy. He's a beauty. 
Well, that's it. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Just wanted to show you uh, how things are progressing. Have a good day.